very unpredictable. It can be crazy, chaotic, stressful at times. And then there are those good moments where after all the mess settles down, you realize who's there for you. You see your loved ones still smiling and laughing. For me, 2023 was a crazy year to say the least. We started off the year uncertain with what was coming next. We had job losses, financial debt started to gather up again after we finally escaped it. We moved from a temporary house now into a long-term house, finally feeling like we can settle down. I started jobs with my business and then I ended them because we moved. Everything was all over the place. As a toddler mom, I also endure a lot of times that I'm tired and trying to be there for my son. 2023 had so much stress that I also discovered my blood pressure was high. I got a blood pressure monitor and I started checking it every day to see if it would go lower if I just stayed calm or ate better. My blood pressure continued to be elevated, sometimes high. I kept trying to change my health and fix my health and change my diet and fix my problems. But still, something always happened and I would suddenly be stressed all over again. I became so aware of my emotions and how they go up and they go down. So much went on this past year that it feels like it went by way too fast and yet lasted way too long. Looking back, I'm not even sure I liked much about this year, but it strengthened me in ways I'm sure I'll see as time goes on. The year with my sewing was interesting because it started off very strong. I had a lot of goals for myself, my business, my YouTube, and although I didn't reach those goals quite the way I thought I would, I know I got a lot closer to them just because, well, <laughs> the more you practice and the more you do, the closer you become to whatever you're trying to get to. I decided to design this dress with this fabric because I like the meaning of the stars and the moon, as well as having the black fabric to represent the darkness. And although there's darkness in life and things get tough and you stress out or you cry yourself to sleep, there's always hope. And I feel like the stars represent the light and the darkness. As for the moon, my son has always pointed out the moon. He loves it so much that we started buying him a ton of different moon items, but it gives me hope when I see the moon too because I remember how excited my son gets just to see it. We used to take him outside so he could go find the moon. For many nights, the moon was not out there and we couldn't see it, but we'd take him every single night saying, let's go find the moon, let's go find the moon. And sure enough, we'd finally find the moon and he'd get so excited. And I know it may sound like a silly little story, you know, just my toddler who loves the moon. But when I think back on that time that we kept looking for that moon, it reminds me that sometimes you keep looking and looking for something, for hope, for a change of scenery, for a miracle. And it looks like it's just never there. But keep at it, stay consistent, keep going to look for that thing, and sure enough, you will find it. And that's what I get from that story. And so the moon on this fabric just is going to make me think of that. Something that has always stood out to me is something I heard somewhere that the light shines the brightest in the darkest times. And it is a really interesting concept because you can shine your light in a very bright room and no one will really see it. But if you shine your light in a dark room, it's pretty obvious. Another thing that stood out to me as well is how far light travels just from a single candle light. It just goes to show that no matter how bright your light is, whether it be dim 
or extremely bright like my sewing room, it's still shining and you can still see it no matter how dark times get. Just a little tiny hint of light is going to shine so bright you'll see it no matter what. And that light to me is Jesus. And I feel like that's the only thing that has really kept me going because no matter how dark it got and how often I was laying in bed with heart palpitations or I was having anxiety attacks because my blood pressure was high and I was terrified, I just kept reminding myself it's going to be okay, that there is hope, that things will change. And eventually when I told myself this over and over and over again, I started to feel the peace finally. So I hope that this stress and this video can be a reminder to you that no matter what you go through and no matter what's going on, there's always hope and you can always look for it like we continue to look for the moon every single night until my son finally got to see that moon and rejoiced in excitement. Keep looking for what you're seeking, what you're hoping for, keep looking for it and it will show up. My hope for 2024 is I will get a big change in my life, a change that I've been hoping for, longing for, to be able to accomplish dreams instead of feel like I can't seem to figure it out. And here's an trusty friend, and just a hand of thine, we'll talk a cup of kindness yet. 2024 is exciting for me because it's the first time in a while I'm not anticipating moving houses, I'm in the middle of a lot of goals I'm trying to accomplish, and to put it simple, 24 is my favorite number, and I believe that somehow it's got to hold something good for me. It's been a lot of stress, chaos, loneliness, you name it, but in the end, I know I have a faithful and supportive husband, a fun and silly loving little boy, and my family that encourages and loves me, and honestly, I couldn't be more thankful. So, despite the bad, it's always good to look back also on the good. So many good things happen as well as the bad. And I won't forget what happened in 2023. I know that looking back at the toughest time in my life when we were moving houses, I remember thinking, but my husband and I always had each other no matter what. And now we have our son, and I am eternally grateful for the loving people I have in my life.